Jennifer Simone is a Canadian-based fashion designer. She's very well known for her use of print and for trendy cuts. Welcome to the show, Jennifer. What inspired you to become a fashion designer? I would say that it really began when I was young. My aunt and my mother uh, played a major role in getting me started. My aunt in Antigua, because that's where uh, my parents are from, she's a professional seamstress. And that's where I would kind of be in her shop and watch her do her thing with all her fabrics and the machinery. And my mom as well had a sewing machine in the house growing up. And that's uh, where it all began, really. So did they let you use their sewing machine? Were you uh, working at even that young age? I, the youngest that I remember using a sewing machine was probably about the age of six or seven. I was sewing a lot by hand though. That's where I really started, hand sewing. Where do you derive your inspiration from for the beautiful prints that we see in a lot of your products? For this latest collection, um, I actually am using travel as a bit of my inspiration, as the main inspiration. It's uh, going to be a lot of bright colors, like Antigua, for example, if you're going around the island, the buildings are painted in bright colors. There's um, the Antiguan flag. I'm gonna be grasping a few things from the shapes, the colors there, and just kind of going with some fabrics that have some movement, some flowy materials that kind of remind me of the wind blowing in the palm trees and the water flowing and certain uh, elements that I can grab from the island just because we all want to get away right now. And that's one place that I have on my mind, my next destination. Yes. Do you have a style icon and who would it be? Someone that I've seen a lot lately um, is Rihanna. If I did have to choose a style icon, um, I just like the fact that she's not afraid to take risks. There's a lot of um, her wardrobe, what she wears, it's very uncommon. And I could kind of take a little lesson from that and not be so scared of what people are thinking and just kind of do my own thing. She doesn't care. She wears what she wants and is fearless. And I love that about her. So if you were to dress her, what would you put her in? Just off the cuff. I, huh, I make puffer jackets and I've seen that um, in her streetwear style. She wears a lot of those oversized jackets. I would definitely put her in one of those. So do you wear your own designs? Oh, most definitely all the time. I don't have a whole lot of time to make things for myself, which I, I really wish I did, but um, I definitely do. When I'm going out to an event or a party or something, I'd usually just whip something together maybe an hour before sometimes and just go out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite part of the design process? I would say my favorite part of the design process is definitely the end. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just uh, like going and thinking back on the raw materials, the uncut fabrics, and just thinking of a few hours later, this was just a piece of material. It didn't really look like anything or a few days ago or a few weeks ago, whenever I started. And just looking at the finished result and being so proud of what I've accomplished, <laughs> that's definitely the best part. I know that you're mentioning puffer jackets that can be worn by men or women. So does your approach for designing differ when you're designing for men versus women? Uh, yeah, most definitely, I would say so. Because when I'm designing for men, I like to try to keep it as masculine as possible if I can. With um, designing for women, I can just do whatever. They can, I don't know. I put them in things that are unisex, doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, for men, I, I like to try to see how far I can push the envelope with uh, the femininity, but I don't want to go too far overboard. So yes, I, I do approach them differently. What was your main inspiration behind your last collection? Um, I would say I kind of start with the basics, like dress shirts and t-shirts and shorts and that sort of thing, and I kind of see if I can change the lines around and make it into something interesting. I don't usually have an idea when I'm starting to sketch. I just kind of sketch and see what I can make out of nothing and <laughs> see if it turns into something that I like. I know that you're using a lot of very beautiful fabric and gorgeous prints. Where are you sourcing this fabric from and how are you choosing exactly which one to use? 
Um, I like to choose fabrics that are firstly comfortable, easy to wash because I myself am not big into dry cleaning. I just throw everything into the washing machine. So when I'm choosing my fabrics, um, the sourcing, I usually get my basics from Rosie D and a lot of my prints and other interesting materials come from Jagjit Textiles in Brampton. And the materials, I sometimes use African prints, anything that really catches my eye. If I like the colors that complement each other, then I'll, I'll choose fabrics that way. I kind of uh, go in without having a real plan and just see what jumps out at me. What is your design process? How do you work from concept to construction? There are times when I can actually have a piece of material, slap it on the table and just start cutting. But if it's something that I haven't made before, I will sketch it out, make sure I have the front and back, know exactly what I'm gonna be doing. And then I'll go through and make the pattern and draft that, true it. These are terms that I've learned in college. <laughs> Through the Where pattern. Did you attend, uh, college, by the way? Oh, I went to George Brown. George Brown. I graduated from the Fashion Techniques and Design program. Nice. Yeah, well, I can tell you're very technical and very detailed about, well, even your work speaks for itself. Everything looks perfect. So I can tell that there was uh, a lot of time dedicated to just everything, I guess. I guess. What, according to you, is your favorite part of being a fashion designer? My favorite part would be just knowing how things are put together. Like just looking at anything that's made, say another designer made it, I can look at it and be like, oh my gosh, this is so intricate. I know exactly how much work went into making this and I can appreciate it a little bit more. Um, kind of like how a mechanic knows all the parts to put a vehicle together or take an engine apart and put it back together. I have a very good idea of how every garment is made and I can kind of visualize what pieces went into putting it together and it's just just the skill that or the technical skills that I learned um, really helped me appreciate the art a lot more. Do you ever look at a design maybe in a store or on a runway and you're like huh how can I kind of take that apart in my mind and manipulate that? Yeah, there's designs that I see that um, I kind of think, how can I even tweak that a little bit to make it my own sort of thing? That kind of idea, yes. What are some of your biggest dreams that you're yet to fulfill with regard to fashion designing? Um, well, as you know, designing and sewing can be very time consuming. So my biggest dream right now would be to eventually find a small quantity manufacturer, someone that I can kind of put a little bit of the load onto. That way I can free up some more time because I'd like to kind of look into possibly designing prints on fabrics that will complement my designs. I can see that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I love your use of prints again. It's so uh, intricate and beautiful how you put everything together. So I'm super excited to see how that all turns out. Uh, where can people go to see more of your fashion? Um, I do post quite a bit on Instagram. Um, it's at Jennifer Simone Apparel. And I also have a few items on my website. That's jennifersimone.com. Um, there is a fashion show coming up at the end of April, and that's when the actual collection that you do need to look out for is coming out. Well, I'm so excited to check that out. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for watching Inbox. My name's Julia Cosby, and thank you for watching Take TV.